hey what's up guys today we're going to add buttons at runtime and then assign them very specific function and parameter okay so without further ado let's get started okay so let's start by looking at what we currently have before we get started over here I have a canvas that has a horizontal layout group on the left over here you can see my panel in which all the buttons are going to be displayed and on the right you can see this is the image container so this is where we're going to display the final image in the big resolution and then after that I also have a button that I made myself so a custom prefab button and I'm going to be putting them inside the menu container so at runtime um, it depends on how many image I want to load each of them is going to create a new button from that button prefab so in the end it's going to look like something like this I also have a scroll rect on the um, on this so I can scroll and that's pretty much it just to be specific my button over here has a raw image and not an image so I can manually change it for any kind of texture I get uh, in my project so it doesn't need to be a sprite it also has a layout element that sets a minimum height and that's pretty much it also I have a panel inside of it and then the text overlay so this is basically just like a normal button but instead of an image it's a raw image and I have a panel over the text okay so now I'm going to remove it because what we want to do is we want to create this at runtime depending on how many image we have in our folder I will be pulling my image not from a list but from the resource folder if you want to use the resource folder all you have to do is create a resource folder spelled like that just inside your project folder or your asset folder and then I added an additional folder called image and inside of there I have some uh, wallpapers that I use sometime okay so let's get started writing the script I'm going to create a new script on top of the menu container so I go over here and I'll say uh, image gallery script why not this sounds good and let's just open it up now once we're inside of this we're going to start by importing the UI um, namespace so using unity engine UI and we are going to clean it up a little bit okay then what we need now is a reference to the final image that I'm going to be using so public raw image image and then what we need is also a reference to our game object prefab our button prefab that will be spawning and we could also have another um, reference to the container of those buttons so public transform uh, button container okay now let's write a private void start and now in here what we need to do um, since I'm pulling all the files in the resource folder what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare an, an array of um, texture that I call texture is now equal to resources dot load all um, textures oops not text textures in my folder resource and then image just like this so this is going to fetch all the texture inside of my resource image folder so all of these are going to be stored inside my texture array and now all I have to do to iterate through them is for each texture say T in texture with an S which is my list and now I can iterate through every single of those so for each of those image I'm going to start by declaring myself a game object geo is equal to an instantiate button prefab as a game object after that we need to set that new object um, we, we need to set it as a children of the container so we'll do go dot transform dot set parent and now we need to give it the um, button container reference and after that we could be doing well since we're making an image gallery what I'll do is I'll actually change the raw image of our button and that is why I don't use an image and I use a raw image 
image works only for sprite and I don't want to turn my image into sprites just yet so I'm going to use the raw image component inside our, our button to display a small thumbnail so uh, geo.getComponent and I'm getting the raw image dot texture is now equal to t which is directly the same uh, texture we just load and then after that what we need to do if we go back in game actually let's just go look in game what it gives us right now okay so if we hit play right now as you can see we have all our buttons on the left here but um, if you look into the the button object any of those and you go inside the button element you can see the on click is empty and we'd like to be able to set something over there we'd like we'd like to be able to have a function inside the unclick usually it's really easy to do that all you have to do is have your button on the screen and then just click the plus sign however it's impossible to do that if the button is not there um, when you create a game when you design this the button only appears when the game is starting and now you can't really modify the code because it's not going to be permanent so in order to set that very function at runtime what I am going to do is we're going to go fetch the uh, button element so we're going to go uh, through every single of those then get the button component this one and then we're going to add a event listener to this very unclick function so to do that we're going to go back inside our code I'm going to declare myself a temporary string so t name which is uh, which stands for texture name and now this is where it gets complicated so we're gonna go fetch like we said we're gonna go fetch the button component then the unclick event and then we need to do add listener just like this but this ain't gonna work by itself we need to have a function we need to have um, an actual listener to it so let's just go down there let's leave it like that for now it's not gonna work but let's just go ahead and declare ourselves another function down here and I'm going to call this one on button click and it's going to take uh, the string name image just like this and now we need to find a way to put the on button click inside of that add event listener now look closely what happens what we need to do is declare a lambda function to do that you need to open parentheses just like this and then bigger than and the name of the function plus the parameter so in this case on button click and we shoot t name like that and we close it off with a semicolon so this is the syntax we need to use now let's just go test it out here I'll do debug.log image name so what is the image name of the button we just click let's play this and say we click on this one it says master sword this one is sniper forest horizon okay so this uh, pretty much just gets the same exact name of our image and it works so let's just clean it up a little bit we'll add some more stuff so I'll do a go get component um, actually get component in children I'll do text dot text is now equal to t name. Yep, so as you can see now the name pops up. Oh wait, actually we forgot to actually change the image. So it, it's fairly simple. All we have to do is say um, take the reference you have over here, so raw image. We're gonna do image dot texture is equal to in this case resources dot load we load this as a texture and then we get it inside the image slash plus image name like this okay let's hit play and it doesn't work why is that okay it was a small bug on my part my image over here has a color of black so we couldn't we couldn't see the image at all but it was there so I'm gonna put it back on white then hit play and then as you can see it works 
So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment or you'd like me to do something, uh, some kind of tutorial for you, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.